If you're married and you're not happy with your sex life and you decide to get divorced, should you sue because of that? A woman in France recently sued her ex-husband. When she filed for divorce, she said one of the reasons was because they didn't have enough sex during their 21-year marriage and a judge agreed. I would have loved to have heard that case. Now the ex is, uh, well, has to pay $14,000 in damages and it is time for us to play He Said, She Said with Nicole Bielan, editor, executive editor of Cosmopolitan. Great cover there. And relationship expert Matt Titus, author of <laughs> Why He Hasn't Called. That Great cover, cover there as that well. That cover not as interesting to Chris like <laughs> good, <laughs> good morning to the both of you. Uh, Nicole, I'm going to ask you the first question. Ladies first here. What do you think about this ruling? Was the judge was the judge correct? I think it's obnoxious. It's insane. I mean, getting married does not guarantee you're going to have sex on tap for the rest of your life. I mean, it'd be nice if it did, but it doesn't. With marriage, there are no guarantees. I mean, you have to work it. Let life. me say something. I'm so happy that I'm not married to you. You have no idea. That's one. <laughs> I think second, she might feel the, the same the way. The second man. thing yeah. is <laughs> sex. When sex becomes obligatory, you know, it's like it's not an obligation. Don't we? get married so we don't have to jump through hoops to have sex. 80% of the time, you should acquiesce to your partner's request you want to for or sex. Not? Whether you want to or not, because you need to Matt, fake that's it. that's terrible. You need to Aren't fake you it. contradicting yourself? You just said it shouldn't be, be obligatory, but that 80% of the time, I, no matter you what, should, you should say yes. You should want to have sex. But what if you Because that's why you, that's why you get married. You should want to. Thanks for calling me out on that. That's why you, you should get want married. to have sex. You get married because you want to have sex. That's not the only reason people get married. It's a very, it's you can have plenty of sex without getting married. Let's be honest here. It's a very important part of marriage. I got married once without sexual chemistry, and I thought loyalty, friendship, and being a good mother was important, and they are, but there was no sexual chemistry, and my marriage ended, and it was, it was hard. Well, you made the mistake of getting married when you had no sexual chemistry, which I agree is a mistake, but in a marriage, there are ups and downs, and you have to kind of just go with it. And also, I think a huge problem is that people sit around and complain, oh, I'm not getting enough sex, it's not good enough for me. But then, what have they really done to work for it? What have they done to try to make it better? Do you want to work for sex no, in a marriage? No, you have to get to the... If, if your partner, if your partner does not want to have sex, you have to try to get to the root of the problem. Why don't they want to have sex? You have to figure out, are they too tired? Are they too busy? Do they not feel good about their body? And try to fix it. I don't, don't just complain. It's not about complaining. Um, yeah, have you heard of the, the... Matt, you're out of order. This whole courtroom <laughs> is out of order. <laughs> the, I, I want to say something. The loss of consortium is a law. Yeah. If I injure someone and they are married and they are not able to physically perform sexual acts for their partner, their partner can come and sue me because they can't have sex. That says something about how important sex is in a marriage, even legally. Yeah. Thank well, you let's, very much. Let's talk about couples overall, because I think studies, a lot of the studies that we see, married couples are not having that much sex. I think the average is once a week. Your thoughts on that? Is that normal? Is that bold? Married people I mean, that... have more sex than single people, and I think once a week would make a lot of couples in this country perfectly happy. You know, Should there be a number I, on it, though? I, I, and I, I, there shouldn't be a number on it. Because, as you said, and you've said this a number of times, too, before, a relationship is something that you have to work on. And there are several aspects to your relationship, whether you're married or not. One of those aspects is is the sexual part of your relationship. That's not all there is to it. So just as that is going to have, you know, it's going to have good times and bad times, you're going to have to work at that, It's too. a bigger exactly. part than you would ever imagine. I am a proponent of fake it till you make it. My wife and I, a lot of times, we don't even like each other. I know you can't imagine that. But honestly, <laughs> what we do is literally, even when we go to bed, when you start to touch each other and, and caress each other and be close and hold each other, even if you're not emotionally connected, that physical component can light a little bit of a fire, and then you have sex, and it helps with the emotional bond. Faking it till you make it can save a marriage. I'm telling you the truth. I think some people out there are probably saying, how does he fake it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm kidding. All right, then. I'm just kidding. All right, Matt and Nicole, thank you. That was actually uh, enlightening. So you think, uh, just real quickly, this type of court case never makes its way to, to U.S. courts, huh? Never. Uh, I think the <laughs> legal system will be not. bombarded by, by yeah. suits. <laughs> it would Christ be interesting thanks. if they decided to take that route. All right, guys, thanks so much. We appreciate it.